Okay, so a few of you have asked me about my jewelry box, the box of jewelry. How big was the box, all of that. So I couldn't lift it to start with. It was 53 pounds, as I've said, and that's shipping weight, including the boxing. Um, it was just too heavy for me to lift and put up here, and uh, it was big inconvenient. So I had cut the box down to be uh, closer to the, it was a little bit bigger than this, so that it was closer to the level of jewelry. But height-wise, I believe, now the top of this where I've got it cut right now is 20 inches, but I'm going to say it was, say 17 inches is where the jewelry started. Uh, it Because I left a little bit at the top so I could move things around and not have to worry. So say 17 inches high. It is um, about 21 and a half inches this way. And then we've got about 24 inches across here. So it was filled with little packages like those ones I've been opening. It's filled with those. And I have been doing a lot of sorting as I've went through because there's a lot of repeats. So I've sorted a lot of those out. I am now, I'm getting down there. I'm getting down there as far as no re trying to keep it from having repeats. But let me kind of give you a little glimpse of what I've been doing. All right. So as I've pulled stuff out, things that I can easily recognize, I've got my big bags here that I've got the roll of bags. Um, I've just been taking a masking tape for right now. And write in the last four digits of the barcode number. If I can see it, I write the last four digits. And then when I have things that are similar, I grab them out when I see them. And they all go in a bag like this. Uh, some things I only have one of. And that's fine. Now, not all the items had, because they've got return and these stickers, but not all of them had their uh, original uh, barcode for the product barcode that I could see. So on those, I've just kind of written a description and stuck it on there the best I can. That's what I've been doing. Now, once I show them to you guys, the ones I can find, I go ahead, I make them a bag, and they go in the already bin shown on YouTube. That's one bin. Then from that bin, I sit, um, when I'm not doing anything else, I will sit and look them up on Amazon. If they are on Amazon, let me grab that. So here we go. This one is on Amazon. These are all the same barcode in the same item. And I just write on Amazon. They go in their own big black bin. Everything on Amazon goes in an on Amazon bin. It gets a little messy, but up here I know where, what I'm doing. And then all of these NOAs are not on Amazon and they go in a different bin. Now, right after I get done with a show, with a video for you guys, what I've been doing, let me grab my bags. Then each item that I know I have not shown before, if I have shown it, I find the appropriate bag. Otherwise, I make each item their own bag with their own masking tape, with their own number, and it goes in a basket. And then I'll start sorting through those. So this has been a process. So the things that are not on Amazon, I'll be able, I haven't worried a whole lot about them yet. I'll be able to take pictures and load them up on eBay. Uh, the things that are on Amazon is what I've been concentrating to take those pictures and get them uploaded to my Amazon shop, which you can go over to, there's a link in the description uh, amazon.com slash shop slash off the jacks and you can see some of those pictures that I've got up so far 
I'll also be making a short video for each of those kind of talking about it to put on Amazon. And then the ones that aren't on Amazon, like I said, I'll take pictures of them and put them on eBay or I don't know quite yet what the best way to get get a little bit of money out of them and get rid of them so they're not all in my house. I've given some things away. I've got friends or my friends, kids or grandkids. So I've shipped off some stuff for them as I come across it. So that's kind of what I do after each show. Now that I've gotten down on uh, these it's getting a little easier to sort because at first it was just such a deep pile. It was really hard to go through and try to find each one of a certain item because you'd have to look at the back and that means getting out the magnifying glass and everything. So that's kind of what I've been doing. So we can go ahead. Thought I'd give you a little glimpse into my organization good thing you can't see my organization because you would actually laugh and you would also laugh because I've got a, a German Shepherd and a Border Collie in here helping me every step of the way so hope you enjoyed that a little insight into what I do with this jewelry and how I'm sorting it then when I do list, say, these on eBay, I'll keep them in the same bag and I'll put their little number that is their personal uh, individual code that I put on eBay. I always use that and I'll put that on the bag so that I can keep that straight too because some of these things look kind of similar and it's easier if I've just got a number on it and I know for sure I am sending out the exact item instead of taking a guess because I've got so many. I haven't counted how many how many different types of uh, pieces of jewelry I have, but it'd be fun to do just to kind of see see where my money went and my fifty three pounds what it was made up of. And yeah, I'm getting knocked over, ladies. Oh. They have my mic cord. That would not be good. They don't want to wrestle anywhere except under mom's feet. So, alrighty there. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. Probably wasn't really exciting. But, might give you some ideas on how you can do something like this. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And hope to see you again <laughs> real soon. So are you ready to unbox some more jewelry? I I got shoe charms. I know that's going to shock you, but these are super cool. I think these are going to be my favorite. You'll have to come in and look at them, but we're going to make this quick. Let's just come in, check these out. I've got a lot of more jewelry to do. I've got a lot to look up to see if it's on Amazon. I need to take some pictures at some point. Got a lot to do. So come on in, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's see some jewelry. Hopefully some good jewelry. All right, as I promised, we're gonna get right to it. Look at this. This was just in a return type bag. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Now these are softer. Um, I'm on the wrong side here. I've got Stella wandering around. I'm trying to hold the, uh, the tripod. These are some super duper heroes. I don't even know who some of these are because I'm not familiar with this stuff. So if you leave that stuff alone, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I should, Superman, I know the Hulks, I know a lot of these. She just grabbed paper. Hey, that is not yours. Okay, 
Glad it wasn't anything terribly important, you know. Um, I like these. These are going to be my favorites. I do believe. And like I said, I don't know who all of them are. I don't know if they all came in uh, originally in one set or not. Now, I had a lot of the superhero stuff from my brother's estate. So, I know the common stuff. I just don't know some of this. Oh, Spider-Man. Captain America. And look at this. Look at all of these. Those are going to be fun. I'll have to find somebody to help me. Uh, or I'll have to use Google Lens probably to figure out who some of these little... They're not even... I don't think they're people. I don't know who they are. But somebody will know and Google Lens is my friend when it comes to this stuff. I learned about Google Lens and now I don't know how I ever lived without it. And trust me, I lived a long time without it. So there you go. These have been my favorite shoe charms. All right. I had to move my camera today because uh, things set up. But here is a pair of earrings. These are like a, I would say, a, some kind of lightweight wood or a press card board maybe. And they're just little earrings. But they're cute. Dinosaurs. I'm not sure what that is, but they're cute. Cute for dinosaurs. I just don't get this. Okay, help me out here, people. Again, I must be behind on the times. Okay, this looks like rings. Several, I don't know how many, silverish rings. Boy, I'm on the wrong side of this camera. I wish I'd have set it up different, but I didn't have a choice at the moment. Um, they, said, they all say ring. Well, that's nice. Um, this is just a flat silver round. I'm not going to get them all out. This one's got little hoopties. This one is got the unique shape to it. In a size 9. These two look almost identical. I can't. I'm not exactly sure. And then a wider round one. So that's what was in here. Rings. Five of them. Size 9. Yay. A little big for me though. Okay. And I did look in those little silver rings. They do say... Stackable rings, 14 karat gold filled. Um, I don't know. This one I can't even read. I don't know if they're really 14 karat gold filled. That'll have to be checked out. I haven't, I don't think I've seen this. I love this velvet bag though. And, oh my, I don't know what this is. I, I have not seen this. That's for sure. All right, here we go. This is a charm with, I'm not sure who it is supposed to be. I don't know if it's supposed to be Jesus. If I say that and it's not, somebody will be mad if I don't say it and it is somebody. Stella, out. Out of that. <laughs> somebody will be mad either way, so no matter what I say, but I think that's supposed to be Jesus there and it's just on this the chain is really pretty and Stella just will not stay out of stuff today this is why I had to move everything earlier and set up in a different way already so that's kind of unique I have not had one of these before okay here we go we're going to oh I, I didn't really want to tear that number up so I better watch what I'm doing I don't care if I 
cut the the actual bars. I just don't want the number gone so I can double check it with stuff. All right. Okay, here we go. I know they're earrings. And they're tangled. Well, those are different. Just a metal piece. They've got the beads. I do like this. Let me see if I can turn that and show it to you. I like that. That's pretty. I wish it was just that. <laughs> I kind of like that. But. So there you go. These, these are kind of different. And I like different. And now I've got Raven in here trying to. Oh, she's just going to cause more trouble. Raven, you aren't getting anything Stella didn't. So. You can vacate the premises, at least this room. And here, this is a Debella 20-piece, 18G something. I can't always read those, and they don't always. We've had several Debellas, so I'm not sure if this is something we've had before. It's body jewelry. We'll take a quick look to see if it's, well, it is something different. I have not seen anything like this. It almost looks like it's all clear plastics. And it is. Um, I know you're not going to be able to see those. I don't want... Let me get these. Maybe these will be easier. I wonder if they're like a placeholder for if you go to work and you can't wear... Um, you're not allowed to wear body you know your nose rings or whatever and so you have to put in i know it's going to be hard to see it's just a little clear piece and it's all different kinds of them so that's what i'm going to assume these are for is just putting something in when you can't wear a piece of jewelry showing so you put this in so it's not as noticeable maybe like when you go visit grandma and i'm sure some uh jobs still will not allow you to have nose rings lip rings things like that so i i think that's what those would be for all right all right fox girl it says fox girl gold ankle b men Gold jewelry gift. Oh my God, who knows? Um, a hundred percent recycled material for their boxing. Probably not this plastic bag, but the boxing. So that should make some people happy. I'm just confused because it says girl men. I'm not sure which one it's for then. The box is a little tore up, but... Oh, it's another one of them with the clear, the clear. No wonder the boxes tore up. Yeah, this is the first one of these I got. I was so confused by it. Ooh, this is going to be sparkly. It's got a little push here. Let me see. And I'm going to try not to. Oh, it's more than one piece. So, I, if this is a bracelet, it can't be a bracelet. It's way too big. Um, maybe an anklet. I think that would even, it would even be big for my ankle. I'm not sure. Well, it said choker. How little is your neck? I'll have to, I'll have to see if I could even put that around my neck. I'm not sure. I've never paid attention, but it is pretty. It is missing a stone. No, no. 
That's not fair. Let me see. What's this one? And this, this is just plain gold beads. Um, it's not got any rhinestones. Well, I am kind of bummed that this one is missing a rhinestone. And it doesn't appear to be in the package. So, that's, that's not fair. That was kind of pretty. I like that. Okay. This, <laughs> it's got the Statue of Liberty, a bridge. And on the back, it says, uh, one pair beacon fire flow something piercing jewelry. Let's see if I can get this open without cutting it. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, is that it? I guess so. Um... I like the bead, whatever it is. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure what it is though. It's just okay, it's not it's not jewelry. These have no holes in them. Cause then I thought, oh maybe you put them on the end of barbells or something. Um no. I don't know what they're for, but they're cute little beads. Just don't know what you do with them. This will be a fun one. Look, I've got two little beads. They're pretty. They're useless. Maybe you can think of something to use them for. Well, maybe if I could read Chinese, I could tell you what that is, because I don't know. All right. Here we go. Fine chic jewelry. Um, fine chic gold choke. February birthstone. Cool. Can't wait to see what this is. I'm sure it is just going to be amazing. I screwed up my number a little bit there. I should have used the knife, but. Hope you are as excited as I am. Oh, look. Here we go. A gold chain. It's actually kind of heavy. Wish it was gold. That would be great. Because it's a heavy sucker. It's actually a nice heavy-duty chain. It looks pretty, too. It may not show up so well with the lighting in here. I'm doing this one at night so I don't have my natural light coming in. And is, that's all it is, is just a, this chain. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It did say birthstone. Oh, wait, is that the only one? Yeah. And then, look at that, a tiny little heart. Tiny, very tiny little gold heart, and that's a choker. So it's actually, it's actually pretty nice. I made fun of it, but it is kind of nice. And, and here we go. This is a different one's a W G O U D. We good. We good. That's what it is. We good. We good. All right. I don't know what what it is. I don't know what I'm opening either. But you're here to enjoy it with me. Oh. Um. Oh, I see. They're all different. Looking, they are little pearl earrings. I don't think they're probably real pearl. Um, but 
they're different sizes. So um, I used to have several holes in one ear and I would line my ears, my ear with big earrings down at the bottom and then get smaller as I went up and around the cartilage. And so that's what I would do with something like this. So that's cool and different sizes. Hmm. That's right. We good. All right. So even with the dogs and their antics with one won't do or one gets in trouble and then the other one has to come in and see if they can um, get by with it. Doesn't work that way in my house, but they sure do try. Um, just in case you were wondering, Stella is a Border Collie. Raven is a German Shepherd. Stella is a year and a half. Raven is almost one year, so they're still in puppy phase, both of them. No, it was, it was not my intent to have two that close together in age. It just happened that way that I got Stella and I went back home and my friend had puppies while I was there. My friend didn't have the puppies. Her dog did. And I got a chance to get a solid black German Shepherd with where I knew both parents and both parents are amazing. Um, I knew she came from a good home and with good parents. So I said, I can't pass this up. And that's how I got the second one. But they like to come in and get into stuff like little kids when you're on video. They know mom's busy. So they're going to see what they can get into. So there you go. Not that that has anything to do with jewelry, but give you a little idea of who I'm yelling at sometimes. So hopefully, I don't know. I didn't see anything. There was some cute stuff in this one. There was some stuff that's pretty. Um, I was kind of bummed that the one was missing a stone because I thought that was really pretty. Nothing. I just went, oh my God. I know that. Oh my God is coming. But we good. We good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> now I got to go look this up and see what's on Amazon, what's not. Put it in the correct bin, which with my filing system, I did a video about uh, how I kind of have it filed, how I sort it. It, it. it Even on the video, it sounds like it's a real cluster, but I know what everything looks like and where it is, and it's organized all up in here. I know what these bins are. Nobody else does, but they don't need to since there's nobody else helping me. So, hopefully you will come back, and we're going to get through this jewelry one day. There'll be no more jewelry. <laughs>